everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I am in Hat Yai, which is a major city in southern Thailand in the province of Songkhla. And this is, without a doubt, hands down, the capital of fried chicken in Thailand, maybe in all of Asia. And so today I'm taking you on the ultimate Hat Yai fried chicken tour. Uh, we're gonna go to some of the most famous, legendary fried chicken stalls. Uh, this is my first time in Hat Yai, so I am excited to be here. Okay, I'm gonna share all of the fried chicken with you, all of the crispiness, all of the juicy chicken with you in this video. begin to start this ultimate fried chicken tour of Hat Yai. We're going to a place, it's right across the street from the Prince of Songkhla University. There's a whole market, there's a cluster of street food stalls, and you can just smell the fried chicken in the air, just wafting through the air. A giant pot of marinating chicken, you can smell the aroma, she drops in a fresh batch that just bubbles up a jacuzzi, a hot tub of fried chicken. Uh, and the sticky rice is going. This place is busy, just a continual flow of uh, customers. And uh, just to mention though, fried chicken is especially common for breakfast. It's because it's quick, it's on the go, it's tasty in the morning, it's crunchy. Uh, so for breakfast in the morning and then also in the evening. Typically the way it works uh, for fried chicken stalls in Thailand, especially in Hat Yai, is that they have all the different chi well, all the different fried chicken at the front of the cart, uh, usually divided by white meat and dark meat. And you get, it's self-service, you get tongs, you get to choose the pieces that you want that look the best to you. I am ready for my first piece of fried chicken today. Oh man, that aroma smells incredibly good. Oh man, they're such experts. A hot, fresh batch right out of the oil onto the serving plate, ready for you to choose the piece you want. Oh man, I'm gonna get a hot piece right out of the oil. Oh, it's just perfectly, perfectly golden red in color. ไม่รู้เลยนะครับโทรไม่ทันอ๋อเอาแล้วครับใช่ครับนี่ก็ขอบคุณมากนะมึงอ่ะขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณมากๆครับขอบคุณมากๆ
Oh, that's perfectly moist and juicy on the inside while being crunchy, crunchy, crispy, golden, and flavorful. And what I love about Hot Guy Fried Chicken is that the, the batter is not too thick. It's more like a, I mean like a milky, anyway, the, there's not, a, there's not a, a thick batter on it. It's, I like the crunchiness on the actual chicken rather than the batter. And then you can follow that with sticky rice and shallots is a must. Yeah. Crispy shallots are one of the most fragrant foods on earth. And it goes so well together. It just meshes with the sticky rice. Oh, it's so good. Oh, wow. And for this bite, I think I'll dip into the crispy shallots with the sticky rice all in one bite. It's so unbelievably tasty. And I think I'll just try the sauce, just because we got it. The thigh this time. Oh, the thigh. That might be the best piece. So moist and juicy. Mmm. And yeah, the sauce is, it's sweet for me. I barely need the sauce because I like the salty, shallotty flavor. But that does provide a, kind of a sweet balance to the saltiness. Highly recommended. And they're so friendly, they're so cool. And again, this place is directly across the street opposite of the Prince of Song Cloud University. It's called Lai La. I also like how they deep fried at the perfect temperature and the perfect length of time. Okay, it is fried chicken, it is oily. But it's not overly greasy. I think also because it's not a thick batter. It doesn't hold in, it's not a, a sponge of grease. It's as clean and non-oily as fried chicken could be. Just to explain to you a little bit more about Kai Tad Hat Yai, fried chicken from Hat Yai. It is so famous around Thailand that uh, you'll find street food stalls across the entire country of Thailand, all the way, I mean, you could be in Chiang Rai, you could be in Chiang Mai, in the far north, that's like, 2,000 kilometers away, and you will find Gai Tad Hat Yai street food carts. Pretty much every market you go to within Thailand, you're gonna find Hat Yai fried chicken. But it is, it's, I'm so excited to be at the source in Hat Yai. Okay, let's go to the next place. Next up on this ultimate fried chicken tour of Hat Yai, we drove, is Eric Eshel who wasn't too far away, in the neighborhood on the outskirts of town. It's a, another very popular local fried chicken stall, just part of the neighborhood community. Uh, people come here only for breakfast, they're only open, I think they close by 8.30 a.m. So you gotta get here early, but it is a popular breakfast stop. And it's pretty unique because they still cook over firewood. It takes some skill to deep fry over fire to keep that heat, to maintain that heat. Um, and again, they fry it perfectly golden and again, very light on the batter. Uh, if any flour in there at all, it's more of like a milky marinade. Uh, you smell the coriander root, maybe a little bit of cumin. Got the drumstick and breast combo. Oh wow, oh that white meat remains juicy on the inside. Oh it's hot too, really hot. Look at the juiciness of that. Oh yeah, that is tasty too. Just the low steady fry, because it's not a really really hot fire. That low fry, sealing in the chicken juices. How about some of that? Oh, oh, it just burst with juices. Oh. oh yeah, that is hot. That's fresh. And for this one, I'll reach into the, the sticky rice with shallots. Get everything in one bite. Oh, it's hot. I'm regretting the fact that I didn't bite into that, that drumstick because the juices would have just 
flowed. Oh, wow. It's juicy, it's moist, it's crispy. Oh, with the salads, with the sticky rice. And even the sticky rice, they cook over fire as well. So it has uh, an aromatic smokiness to it. Um, the stall here is very, very popular. As we've been standing here, there's been a, a stream of customers that have come. Uh, they make a hot, fresh batch. And that's the thing about all of these stalls is that they're so busy that they never have a stock. The turnover rate is so high that you're always getting fresh, hot fried chicken. And that's, I think that's also a really key factor is you need to eat it when it's hot, when it's fresh like that. Very popular, an entire motorbike uh, parking lot on the side of this corner. What a spot. That was another extraordinary fried chicken in Hat Yai. Okay, another successful fried chicken. Oh man, it's the morning is just getting started in Hat Yai and already half the city is eating fried chicken. Yes. Next up on this fried chicken tour of Hat Yai, we are right in the heart of the city, right at Talat Gimyong, which is the main market in the center. And here's the fried chicken stall right here. Hi. So actually, their method of making the chicken, they have the chicken marinating and then they take it out of the marination liquid and give it a quick dip into a batter solution and then into the hot oil to deep fry. So it's a little bit of a different system they have going on. This stall is called Gai Tod Mi Na, uh, fried chicken ayam goreng in Malay. And she has both fried chicken a nice selection of fried chicken, but she also has pomok, which is biryani, Thai biryani. Uh, so, had to try that too. This place is extremely famous, especially in the peak, probably the afternoons, it can be packed. There can be a line going going down the road here. I got a drumstick and I got a, a breast and then Ying came and got some chicken feet um, and I think that's liver that we got too. And then she puts it all onto a plate. She gives you sticky rice with the crispy shallots again. And it's also nice how she chops it up into bite-sized pieces for you. The nice bite-sized pieces and you've got the, the bone in the center. That is extremely tasty as well. Yeah, it has a little bit more of a, a batter crust on the outside. Really crispy. The thing I love about Gai Tod Hat Yai is it remains so juicy on the inside, but so crispy on the outside. You gotta have crispy shallots in every single bite. It just bumps up the flavor. A little dip in the sauce. And alternatively, you can get the biryani with fried chicken instead of the, the chicken that's cooked with it. Again, lots of crispy shallots, and this is very fragrant. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, her biryani is amazing. It's so aromatic. The cumin. The turmeric, it's a little bit salty, not sweet. Is that the sauce that goes with it? Oh, awesome, okay. I think the coriander seed in there. Oh, the biryani might be the highlight here. And this is the sauce. Oh, the ajat, okay, the ajat, the pickle. 
Oh man, I am, I think I'm the most excited about the, the biryani here. Oh, it's so, that rice is incredible. Now that I see some of the locals coming to get lunch here, most people are ordering the biryani rice with fried chicken on top. That might be the combination. That's definitely what I would order next time. Even the biryani chicken, it is still really good. You just don't have that crispy fried chicken texture to it. Mm. Oh, that rice is fantastic. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm up. There we go. Thank you, Ying. Okay, now we have it. The fried chicken and biryani combination. You might add on a little bit of the sweet sauce. I don't like to add too much of that sauce because it is very sweet. But a little bit kind of does balance the flavor nicely. And top that with some crispy shallots. Okay, now that's a bite. Oh wow, that's the winning combination. That is just heartwarmingly delicious. <laughs> and also, they are extremely friendly as well. Uh, Mina, they're so friendly, they're so cool. They will take care of you when you come to eat fried chicken here. Another tasty hot yai on a plate fried chicken. But really the combination, definitely when you come to Mina, get the biryani rice with fried chicken on top. That's it. That is, that flavor, that rice is just lingering on my tongue right now. Oh, that was awesome. And they're so nice. They're so friendly too. Right in the heart of Hat Yai in the market area section. I'm definitely beginning to get the fried chicken sweats though. Oh man. And finally to end this ultimate Hat Yai fried chicken tour, we're going to one last stall which sets up on the corner. This is an afternoon, a night stall and from what I've heard, they're very popular locally. And again, I can just smell the aroma of the fried chicken wafting through the air. And it looks like they're just setting up, they're just starting to, to fry right now. And already, there's some people waiting for fried chicken. They, I think they're just frying the first batch of fried chicken. They also have grilled chicken gaigale with a, a coconut milk barbecue sauce, which is ready. And some people are already waiting, and some people are waiting for the fried chicken, the first batch to come out of the oil. Oh man, this place is amazing and it's called uh, Gaipod Sophia. Um, this place is amazing and as soon as they he brought out the fresh batch of fried chicken, People just immediately came and, and scooped up some pieces. People are waiting in line, waiting for the hot fresh chicken. It is so perfectly golden. And again, what I like about their recipe here is it doesn't look like they use much batter, much flour in their recipe. It's just like completely crunchy on the meat. People even treat this like a drive through They come, they get an order, and they just stop on the side of the street and then just pull up like a drive through in the middle of the street. That's awesome that's how popular this place is and literally it's not busy right now but their batches the fresh batches are going so fast he pulls it out it's gone within minutes and there's no seating there so we just came over to the small park over the canal 
to immediately dig in because you want to eat it while it's hot and fresh right out of the oil. Oh, that is perfectly golden. The sticky rice, the shallot. Oh, she has nice shallots too. You can tell those are kind of hand cut. Those are actually thicker than other shallots and more meaty. Oh, and just pour that over. The shallots are perhaps the most the thing that makes me the most excited. What's cool about them is they have the entire piece, the, the thigh uh, drumstick combination, so that will that's always fun to bite into. Another move I liked about her is that when you order sticky rice, she wraps the paper into a cone, uh, puts the sticky rice at the bottom, and literally pours in a handful of shallots. Just look at the composition of this thigh drumstick combo. It's transparent, the skin is transparent. There's no way to resist just biting into this. Wow, it's hot. <laughs> wow. Oh, that is... Oh, that's so tasty. <laughs> it's perfectly crispy again on the meat and the skin. Oh, wow. Oh, their marinade is awesome. It's salty. It is... You taste a bit more of a spice like a coriander seed, maybe coriander root flavor to it. Mmm, and that is just hot and fresh. That is some extraordinary fried chicken. Oh, wow. And again, the, the shallots are really nice and thick, thick cut, yet very crispy at the same time with the hot, fresh, sticky rice. An irresistible combination. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. And the shallots are so sweet, too. Look, mmm. The balance of the chicken is salty without being sweet at all, but the shallots are sweet maybe because they're so meaty, maybe they're more mature, maybe they're they're just thicker cut. Fried chicken at its best. Oh man. Just look at that skin, that transparency, that crispiness, and that juiciness underneath there. This might be about some of the best fried chicken I've had anywhere in my life. That is a science, a science of fried chicken. Wow. <laughs> oh man. To be honest, their chicken is so good, I'm barely even interested in tasting the sauce, but we do have to taste the sauce. We might as well. Oh, even their, look at that chicken breast. Look how juicy. You can see that inside of there, how juicy it is. If you squeeze it, juices would definitely come out of the chicken. And this sauce looks like they have a little, they add a little bit of coriander to it as well. The sauce again, it's that same kind of sauce. It's sweet, it's a little bit tart. This one might be a little more spicy though, a little more, and a little more tart. In my opinion, you barely even need the sauce. For me, it's all about the chicken and the shallots. There's one stall that truly represents Hot Yai Fried Chicken. It's gotta be Sophia. She is an absolute local favorite. She, her business, her customers have not stopped just pouring in, uh, people driving by, uh, grabbing bagfuls. Not just like a couple pieces, bagfuls for the entire family. Uh, they're frying constantly. They can't even keep a stock because they just sell out as soon as a fresh batch is ready. Uh, but truly, uh, a fried chicken for the people, for the city, this is I mean, all the chicken we've eaten today, all the fried chicken has been fantastic. Uh, I think for me that Gaithad Hat Yai is some of the best fried chicken of anywhere in the world. For me, I love the less batter, less less flour, and more flavor, more natural crunch, which is built onto the meat instead of wrapped around a batter. All that to say, man, that is some good fried chicken. Oh man, I think that might be the, the most fried chicken I've eaten in one day maybe in my life, at least in a very, very long time, probably since I was a kid. But what a day of fried chicken. Uh, I'm so happy, so excited to be in Hat Yai, the source, the capital of fried chicken. 
it's a pilgrimage worthy destination if you love fried chicken. Come to Hat Yai. The people that we met today were so cool, so friendly, uh, and really some of the some of the best fried chicken I think you can get in the world. I've got the fried chicken sweats. I can't fully think straight, so we are gonna end this uh, Hot Guy Fried Chicken Tour right now. I wanna say a big thank you for watching. I'll have all the information in the description box, all the different places that we ate fried chicken. Uh, so I wanna say a big thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click the little bell icon. And that way you'll immediately get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye, good evening from Hat Yai, and I will see you on the next video.